Hello, it's Justine. Thank you for joining me for another card tutorial. Um, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you uh, how to make the Instagram theme I previously showcased mobile friendly. Um, this has been requested by a few people, as well as I'm going to showcase two other mobile friendly themes that are pretty versatile. So starting off with the Instagram theme, if you leave the Instagram theme looking like this on desktop, this is how it's going to look on mobile. Now, sadly, with this particular Instagram theme, I don't believe it's possible to get it to look the same way on mobile and desktop at the same time. However, later on in the video, I'm going to show you an alternative way of doing an Instagram theme that will work for both desktop and mobile at the same time. To start off making this theme mobile friendly, you want to click the gallery and shrink it down. Now the amount you shrink it depends on how many pictures are in your gallery. What I did to get the sizing right was I would shrink it, hit publish, and then refresh the page on my phone until I had a row of three pictures on mobile. Next you want to shrink the contents of the top container so it aligns with the gallery. Then, most importantly, click the container and set the mobile layout to default so the contents appear side by side as they're supposed to. Then shrink the contents of each page accordingly and follow that process for every single page on your card. Then once it's published, this is how it appears on desktop, which is a bit bizarre looking, but on mobile it appears exactly as it should. Sorry I couldn't get it to look the same way on both mobile and desktop, but it's totally your decision how you want to edit this theme. I call this next theme the social media theme because of its versatility. I'm demonstrating here how to make it YouTube themed, but you can use this for basically any social media. This is also another way you can create an Instagram theme. Here I'm just screenshotting and cropping the frame to get the top and bottom part of the YouTube app. Then I'm just screenshotting my videos, you can use any video screenshot basically, and whiting out the title of it. Then finally I'm cropping the frame, and you're going to do this for as many pages as you want on your card, and you'll see what I mean by that in a second. Then I'm just going into my gallery and editing on a title for the video quotations. It's titled My Loves because this picture will link us to my biases page. Like I said before, you're going to want to do this for every page you have on your card. Then I opened up Visco Cam to edit the pictures for the thumbnails, and you can use any video editor. I'm just using Visco Cam because I already have it downloaded. Most importantly, you want to adjust the crop of the photo so that it will cover up the thumbnail. I basically just eyeballed it. If you want to be exact, then you can play around with the dimensions and stuff, but the way I did it turned out just fine. Then you upload the video screenshots into whatever photo editor you're using. I'm using Pixlr because it's free. <laughs> and um, I also took this time to clean up the screenshot a little bit. So all you need to do is overlay the image and fit it right over the thumbnail. And that's it. Just do that for every video screenshot you have. Thank you. 
Finally, we're going to open up card and I chose to use the Samantha Carter theme and just delete everything on it. All you have to do is add an image and place the top bar in that space. Then underneath that, you add all your video screenshots. And then finally, at the bottom, you add the bottom bar. And that's it. That's all there is to it. To make the images clickable, add a control, assign a tag to it, and then place that tag in the URL spot on the picture. If you're confused on how to do this, check out my first ever card tutorial, I explain it in detail there. And that's basically it. Here I'm just showing you how I would format one of the pages, but you can do this any way you like. This last theme is a more simple, mobile-friendly theme I made for my friend Grace. Using the hero protagonist theme, I'm just adding a background, fixing the colors, and adding a gray drop shadow. Here, I'm just compressing a GIF because it was too large. If you don't know how to do this, check out my first card tutorial again. I explain how to do that in detail. I'm just deleting stuff, adding a text box, and putting buttons underneath all of that. For the bias page of this card, each person is going to have their own container. Make sure the container is set to columns and not default. Put the picture on one side and your bias's info on the other. Like I said, do this for every person on your bias page and make sure everything is aligned center. I also went ahead and used this formatting for every page on her card. Now to ensure this theme is mobile friendly, use the mobile editing feature, click on every container and scroll down to mobile and make sure the layout is set to default and not stacked. This allows the contents to appear side by side as they should. Once you've done that, you can publish and I'll show you how it appears on desktop and on mobile. And that's all, thank you so much for watching. Like I said before, if anything here confuses you, check out my first card tutorial. I explain the basics of card and kind of build on that a little bit. Um, also check out my Instagram theme tutorial if you haven't already, and check out my other videos and subscribe if you like. Thank you, have a great day.